anything you're looking for and you're looking too hard, searching too much, there is a possibility you'll never find it. But then when you allow it to be naturally, it comes to you. I was looking for one and I found two. Huh? I was looking for one, just one, and I found two. And so too in life, sometimes you are looking for the right thing, but with the wrong attitude, with the wrong temperament. And so because of that, that is preventing you from achieving what you are supposed to. Not achieving only, attaining. There is a difference between achieving and attaining. Achieving is something that the body will enjoy. But attaining, Sintra, is something that your soul will enjoy. That's why you could sit in front of the harmonium and play with grace and smile. How to smile again? With grace. You know why? Your soul has attained that from previous births. And what your blessing is, didn't just come overnight. It came because of practice in many births before. That's why you could hold a microphone and you could sing. That's why some people could quarrel good. Because they quarrel in all their births before. So they know they have mastered the art of that. That's why some people they could get vexed real good. Because you know why? They have mastered the art in previous births. We've all been given the opportunity to master certain things. When you're going to school and you're getting your education, to show that you have the highest education, they say, I'm doing my masters. Have you ever heard that before? I'm doing my masters because I want to be above and then there is something even above the masters called the PhD have you ever heard the person who has the PhD is not referred to as being an ordinary person you're a little smart so they refer to you as doctor they call you a doctor because when you think about brilliance you think about a doctor isn't it so they call you a doctor so I want to tell you that knowledge is not something that is stagnant or limited or, or something that comes to an end. There should always be a thirst and a quest for knowledge. And whether if you have a PhD, it doesn't mean that you have learned to acquire all the knowledge. You still have to learn. You still have to continue learning. Because we live in a world among many people who have a certificate. But they don't have what it really takes. The thing that is called Buddhi. What is Buddhi? Buddhi doesn't come with a certificate or a disclaimer. Buddhi, intelligence comes naturally. So it might be safe for me to say plenty book sense, but no. Oh, you all know. Common sense is no longer common. Huh? It is no longer common anymore. In the domain, the Katha talks about Shabari. Have you ever heard about Shabari before? Shabari was a child and Shabari packed her jewelry and made her way out of her home. Shabari went in the forest not knowing where she is going. And as Shabari went out in the forest, Shabari stumbled on an ashram. She went in there in search of food. Listen to why she went. She went in search of food. When there is puja, when there is reading, when there is satsang, you know what happened? Some people come for the reading and some people come for the feeding. Huh? Shabri went there searching for food. But as Shabri went there searching for food, you know what happened? Shabri met with the Guru. And listen to what the Guru is saying to Shabri. We are leaving here and so we leave you in charge of the ashram. And one day God himself will come, Rama. And so he will liberate you. Listen to what the Guru said. And the Guru left Shabari. Shabari was a child. The Guru met with Shabari once. And Shabari is preparing for her whole life for Rama to come. How will she prepare? Shabari is preparing in the best way that she knows. You think Shabari could hold the book with the Hindi and sit down and read? To impress God? There are many people who think that they could read and chant and sing to impress God. And the more they read and the more... Sometimes you go and you're listening and you're jooping and falling asleep and... 
instead of impressing you it depress you have you ever experienced that before you go to the function and you just can't keep awake you like and when you fed up fall this side you start falling and then when you fed up you you do a a, a front row man And instead of impressing God, we might be depressing God. Shabri didn't know any of those things, any of these things. You know what she does? Shabri goes to get fruits and roots and shoots to offer to God, to Bhagwan. But every footstep Shabri makes, you know what she's singing? Ram Ram Bhaju Ram Ram Bhaju Ram Ram Bhaju Ram 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 Siya Ram Bhajani Ram Ram Siya Ram Bajuram Ram Siya Ram Bajuram Ram Siya Ram Everything Ram Ram Bajuram Rainfall Ram The sunshine Ram you feel healthy and happy, Ram. You feel sick and distressed, Ram. Your pocket full, Ram. Your pocket empty, Ram. Everything is Ram, Ram, Ram. Ram, Ram, Bhaju, Ram, Ram, Bhaju, Ram, Ram, Bhaju, Ram. Ram, Ram, Siya, Ram, Bhajani, Ram, Ram, Siya, Ram. Bhaju, Ram, Ram, Siya, Ram. Bajuram, Ram, Siya, Ram. But you know what the Katha says? The Katha says when Rama, the Rama she was singing for and preparing for, the God who she wanted to come stood in front of her. Shabri was old. Old doesn't refer to your body, you know. Old doesn't refer to your age, you know. Uh, old refers to your attitude, your behavior. There are many people who are old in age, but their behavior proves them to be younger than the young people. Huh? Because of, of the strength that they possess that comes from within, like Kusum. Would you think she's the eldest in the group? Would you think so? Making chai tea and chapati and frying plantain and up and down and can't get dressed here because she had to be in a condition to curl in iron she here. Huh? Leaving the par parsad on parcel and going to put the curling iron because you know why? And the young one looking Dalidar hook up all the hair so and tie it up in a giraffe. Is it a giraffe? A jura, sorry. <laughs> tie up your hair in a jura. Huh? And you say, man, anyhow, anyhow. Anyhow. The only cover in that. Huh? Pride. Pride in what they do. How they look. Pride in their skin. I remember a few years ago I'm going to India. And Kos calls me frantically. She said, I'm sending you on WhatsApp a picture of a thing I want. Find that for me. Eh? I said, what is it? She said, it's a particular kind of oil. I said, what that oil is for? She said, for my hair. She said, and that oil will make my hair grow and remain black. I said, Narayan, Narayan. Huh? The eldest in the group. When you go in the bathroom, anything you catch up, you use. You wouldn't take some time and go and shop for yourself and buy the best shampoo and the best soap. and huh? Anything, anybody, somebody else buy, you catch up, you use it. Because you take no pride in yourself. Rama stood in front of Shabari and Shabari could hardly see and hardly walk and all Shabari is chanting is Ram, Ram, Ram and Shabari in the Ramayana, you know what it says? Shabari heart to Jod with a hand together Adam, Ati, Adam, Adam, Ati, Nari Adam, Ati, Nari Tanaka, Mahalahi Adam, Ati, Nari Shabari fell to the feet of Rama after she found out who he was and as she fell to the feet of Rama Shabri did not want to let go only when you find out who God is and what God is and how how important it is to, for Bhagwan to intervene in your life you never want to let go do you know that you never want to let go but when you are lost and you did not invite God into your life and you didn't say Bhagwan you take charge 
you'll always be like a boot bhar mein. Wandering everywhere, here, there and everywhere and, and unsettled and you'll always be. Shabari, all she knew was Ram and this liberated her. Nobody know everything. Turn to the person next to you and ask them, you know everything? Ask them. Uncle Harry, look at Auntie Angie. He said, hey girl, you know everything? Auntie Angie, the reply is, the reply is, I don't. Tell him. Tell him, I don't. Heart to Jod, let's pray. Varna nam arta sangha nam Rasa nam chandra samapi Mangala nam chakartaro Bandi vani vinayako Bhavani shankaro vanni Sridha vishwasurupino Yabhyam vinana pashanti Siddha swantastami ishwaram Om Guru Brahma Guru Vishnu Guru Devu Maheshwara Guru Sakshat Par Brahma Tasmi Shri Guru Veenava Pataya Pratiboritam Bhagavatam Narayani Naswayam Vyasi Nagraditam Purana Munina Madhe Mahabharatam Advaitam Ritavarishanim Bhagavati Mashtada Shadhyayanim Ambatva Manusanga Bhagavat Gita Bhavat Veshanim Namastute Vyasa Vishala Buddhi Pulada Vrindaya Tapatra Nitra Inatvaya Bhadata Pankajam Kalimala Prajwani Togyanamaya Pradipaha Om Namo Bhagavati Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavati Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavati Vasudevaya Sing with me Shri Man Narayan 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 Shri Man Narayan 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 Shri Man Narayan 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 To prepare us for all the other kathas, we have to go back a little. And going back a little, the katha does not take us into the Bhagavad Mahaprayan. The katha takes us into the Ramayana of Goswami Tulsidas. It takes us into the Ram Charitramanas. Before you can know where you are headed, you have to have an understanding of where you are at. Let me say that again. Before you can know where you are heading, you have to have an understanding of where you are at. And only when you are comfortable where you are at, you can plan for a smooth, happy, enjoyable, pleasurable, successful future. But don't wait to plan for happiness in the future. Enjoy where you are now. Ask the person next to you, you know what time it is? Ask them. Jagannath, you know what time it is? Tell them, it's Bhagwat time. Tell them, it's Bhagwat time. Ask them, you're tired? Ask them, you're tired? Tell them in the Bhagwat there is no time to be tired. Can you all remember who is Maharaj? Who is Maharaj? Huh? Who is Maharaj? Maharaj took a golden form. Maharaj took a golden form. The golden form of a mrik. What is a mrik? The day. And as Maharaj took this golden form, the form of the day, what will happen? Marij created his own problem. But Marij had a choice to die by the hand of a person who is righteous or by the hand of a papi. Papi means huh? a sinner. A few months ago, we went on a vacation and out of nowhere at the breakfast table, Ashish looked at me and he said, you know what? We're not going to call you Pandit, you know, or Baba. It's going to be obvious. So we'll change your name. He said, on this vacation, your new name is Papi Sun. And I said, Papi Sun, of all the things, Papi Sun? He said, yes, you're not in charge. I'm the guru on this trip. I gave you the name. 
I say, call me Sunna. Don't call me Papi. He said, Papi means father. I said, boy, Papi means sinner. I don't want to be reminded that I'm a sinner all the time. Call me Sun, so I'll remember I'm Sunil. But don't call me Papi because I don't want to be reminded that I'm a, a sinner. Don't call me that. Well, it didn't really work. It didn't work. So a few nights ago when he did the welcome and he was about to walk up, he looked at me and he said, how was that, Papi Sun? I did not expect his... So I did not know how to reply or how to respond. So then I was about to speak and then it came to me, did he just call me that? So I moved from the microphone and I laughed. And then I came back to the microphone to talk. And then he looked at me and he said, and then I had to move again. Sometimes unexpected things happen that leave you speechless. True or not? It says marriage took the form of the day and marriage created his own problem. Marriage was shot and marriage died. But marriage, marriage had a son whose name was Karna Naimi. And who was Karna Naimi? Karna Naimi is the nephew of Ravan. But Karna Naimi, what is his role in the Ramayan? What, what role did he play in the Ramayan? Goswami Tulsi Das Ji writes, something is happening. And listen to where he takes us. Goswami Tulsi Das Ji takes us. Listen to where he is taking us. Mangal Bhavanaya Mangal Hani Trapa Usuta Sarata Jida Bihari Lakshman Prana Habinata Deki Sushina Hari Kanavirata Deki Jeevan Mokta Prapti Na Deka Lakana Prana Abhinata Deka Jai Ram Shri Ram Jai Jai Rama Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Rama Sing with me everybody Jai Ram Shri Ram Jai Jai Rama Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Rama The war is happening. The great battle is happening. When the Ramayan talks about the war, Cindy, what is it talking about? Is it talking about bow and arrow and gun and weapons and is it talking about that the war the war is the war between good and the war is the war between health and sickness the war is the war between the ability to do and the ability not to do the war is between choosing and the choices that you make the war is between the company and the friends that you have. The war is between choosing peacefulness or the war. The tug of war is happening all the time. It says the war is happening. But you know what happened? Shriram. Shriram is crying on the battlefield. Ram, God, Bhagwan Vishnu is crying on the battlefield. It is okay to cry. Never allow anybody to tell you, don't cry. Never allow anybody to tell you, don't cry. When you cry, you release your emotions. The number one killer in the day that we live in now is, you know what? Stress. And you know where stress comes from? Stress comes from the inability to express yourself. That's where stress comes from. Turn to the person next to you. Tell them, hey, express yourself. Tell them. Tell them. Express yourself. And so, 
Shriram is on the battlefield and Shriram is crying. And you know what Shriram, the bhajan is saying, you know what the bhajan says? Utola kanalala priya bhai Utola kanalala priya bhai Uto lakan lal priya bhai Uto, Uto means wake up, get up Lakan is the name Lakshmana Priya means love, to have love Priya Uto lakan lal Lal means O child, son, beloved Bhai means Get up Oh brother of mine, wake up. This is what he's saying. Wake up, oh brother of mine. Uto lakan lal priya bhai. Uto lakan lal priya bhai. We should live in such a way that when our sister is in trouble, you're in trouble too. Feel the pain. When your brother is in trouble, you're in trouble too. Feel the pain. When there is gain, everybody celebrate together. But when there is pain, everybody segregate together. True or not? You only know who your true friends are in your time of trouble. In your time of problem. Nobody looks at the sacrifice that you make. A few, a few years ago, I'm walking, actually I'm running down the step. And I skid down. Boop. I get up and I skid down again. Boop. I'm taking to the nursing home and they say, well, you have to stay for two days. You have damaged the nerve and you have to wear a compression vest. And I say, let me tell you something. Something more important than all of that. I have a puja to do in Flanagan town. I have to go there. And if I don't go there, I don't know what will happen, I have to go. The doctor say, well, you have to walk with a stick, you can't walk. I call, I say, Swami, you have to go with me. But there is a, a problem. You have to hold my hand, you know, boy. You have to help me walk. He said, I'll do anything for you, Baba. And you know that? Because Swami goes everywhere with me, everywhere. Good, bad, indifferent. Anything you want to know about me, he knows. Anywhere I go, he goes. I don't go without him. He's my strength. He's my support. He's my aid. He's my bestie. And I go, and I could hardly walk up this step. I probably take 20 minutes to walk up this step. Pain, real pain. And from the time I sit by the baby, Sheila looks at me and she begins to cry. She said, why didn't you call me? We'll put off the puja. And I said, no. How you'll put off the puja when you don't make the parasite and don't make the baby and don't cut the jandri and don't make all the preparation? How will I do that? And the whole puja, I praying and chanting mantra and in pain and blowing the shank and and whole puja, she crying, you swear something wrong with her. But only when you could feel the pain of somebody else, it shows the kind of being that you are. Only when you could see somebody else's pain and feel that, then you can call yourself God realized. Till today, I still have to wear that vest and till today, I still experience that pain. But never allow your pain and your experiences to prevent you from being the best version of yourself. Be the best you. Sri Ram is on the battlefield and he's crying. He is God. He's a manifestation of God himself. And he's crying. So who are you and I? My brother looked at me one day and he said, Only girls this crying. Who are you crying for? And I don't know where it came from me. I say only real men this cry. You is not a man. I don't know where it came from. I have no clue where that came from.
हनुमान इज समन जय सिया राम जय जय सिया राम 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 काल ने मी दे कर सोहे अति का जीवन दे कर होए अति का पवन पुत्र न मोरी हनुमत दे कर सुख का तोरी जय सिया राम जय जय सिया राम जय सिया राम जय जय सिया राम जय डॉक्टर इज कॉल The doctor's name is Sushin, and as Sushin comes, Sushin says, "Well, Lakshman could be brought back to life. He could wake up, but there is a jivani, a herb that is needed, and so we have to send for the herb. And who will they choose? They choose a person who they don't even have to ask. Choose people who you don't even have to ask. They jump up. They know what is required. Have you ever seen how the Ganesha Utsav Foundation operates? Nobody have to tell them, you know." Nobody has to instruct them. Nobody has to tell them. They know what to do. They know when to do it. They know how to do it. And just in case they forget, I know how to remind them. Hanuman jumps up. I will go. Tell me what it looked like. And the description is given to him, and he goes. But Ravan knows that Hanuman is going. and ravan wants death to happen and hanuman wants life to happen some people who healthy and wrong and rosy and nothing wrong with them praying i feel like i'm dead and the man who have a stroke in his head and can move his foot say oh god i don't want to dead huh so i'm confused me hanuman goes in search of the jeevani but ravan knows that he is going and as ravan knows he is going what will happen rama bhaju rama bhaju rama bhaju bai 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 गिरि पर्वत कारी कदम पर्वत सुमेरु नदी के पाल मीयू रे कर रूप ब्राह्मण जादू सुनत कह दी का रम भजु रम भजु रम भजु बाई रम भजु रम भजु रम भजु बाई रम भजु रम भजु रम भजु बाई Ravan summons Kalanemi, and he says, "Kalanemi, prevent Hanuman from getting that herb, that jivani. Do anything you want, however you want, but prevent him from getting the jivani." And Kalanemi, who knows that Ravan is genuinely in need, Kalanemi says, "So if I help you, will you go give me?" Nobody does anything for free. True or not? Hello, is that true? Hello, is that true? You're not going to work because it's work, you know. You're going to work because you have bills to pay. And if you didn't have bills to pay, well, chances are you take all your sick leave the first day you're supposed to go out to work. Chances are you'll take all your vacation anytime, anyhow. But because you have priorities and you're dependent on the money that will come. out of your job you become a slave to the job and that's what you do you become a slave to the job and sometimes you go in the environment with people who are not willing to help themselves and you are trying to help them and it frustrates you ask the school teacher he'll tell you you sit down in the class after lunch after they eat all that food they mother and father pack in their lunch kit and all of them chew pain huh eh? And he said, "We're going to do mathematics. One plus two is what? Twenty-two. Twenty-two. 
And that's why when they reach the secondary and they reach the A plus B equal Z, what is it? And you say, what is that? What is that? How to do that? And so, he says, what will you give me? And listen to what Ravan says. Ravan says, I'll give you half of the kingdom. Make sure that Lakshmana dies and I'll give you half of the kingdom. Half of the kingdom belongs to you. I'll give that to you. And hearing he will get half of the kingdom. He didn't ask which half. He didn't ask anything. He's just so excited. You mustn't always be excited to receive everything somebody giving you. Never be too excited all the time to receive. You know me? I get, I get. I didn't get, I didn't get. I'm not about that. You know me? I'll give you anything and everything and I'll give it away. Chances are you gave me a gift and you see somebody else with it and you say, but hey, I give Baba one just like that and you remind me, say, oh, this Baba one. Huh? Who you think I get? It says, Carl and Amy, he goes. But Carl and Amy creates an illusion and he takes the form of a holy man, a Brahmana, and creates a, an ashram sitting, a kutia. And Carl and Amy lights flames on all of the trees to confuse Hanuman. And Hanuman doesn't know which Jeevani is the real one. You have so much medication in the cabinet, you don't know which one is which one. Eh? One is for knee and one is a headache. You take the headache one for the knee and you say, my headache is going. My knee, my knee is still hurting. You take your sugar tablet for your pressure. Huh? Confused. Hanuman becomes confused. And as Hanuman becomes confused, what will he do? Hanuman pauses to think. He pauses to think. It is imperative upon all of us to pause sometime. Just to... Tell the person next to you, it's important to pause to think. Tell them. Sharon, it's important to pause to think. Yeah, you think. Pause for a minute and think. And so, what will happen? At that time, when Hanuman pauses to think, Karanami summons Hanuman. He says, oh, bean, kapi, monkey, come here and sit in my kutia. There is a huge pond here. Refresh yourself. While you are thinking, replenish, revive yourself. And Hanuman, what he does? Hanuman listens to what is being told to him. He goes to the pond to drink. And to bathe. And as he goes to the pond to drink and to bathe, you know what happens? What happens? Jai Ram Shri Ram Jai Jai Ram Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram Makari Pragata Hadehi Hanu Manta Sumeru Hurupa Apsara Bina Tanta Jai Ram Shri Ram Jai Jai Ram Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Go in the pond to bathe and to refresh himself and to drink some water and a makari. What is a makari? Have you ever heard of a makari before? A makari means a crocodile. A crocodile manifests itself and opens its jaw huge in an effort to swallow, to bite, to eat Hanuman. Makari. Makari. You ever see how the crocodile operates? The crocodile imitates the water that he's in. 
And imitating the water that he's in, he tries to convince its prey that he doesn't exist, he's not there. And he waits for the opportune time and he attacks. Makri, Makri. Some people do us that too. And we call it Makri. Huh? They try to irritate us by trying to be us. The crocodile tries to imitate the environment that it is in. That's why the back of the crocodile is dark and mossy and muggy and that's why it's designed like that with all those waves and humps and things. So when it goes through the grass and bush and things, it will hook up on it and you wouldn't be able to. So it is camouflaged easily. It says, you know what happened? Hanuman. Binu sata sanga bibi kana Ram Kripa Binu Sura Ban Soi Jai Ram Shri Ram Jai Jai Rama Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Rama Crocodile come and open its mouth to bite Lord Hanuman And you know what he does? He make one fist and give the crocodile one blow and the crocodile fall to the ground the atma the soul comes out and the soul stands in front of lord hanuman and the soul speaks the soul says i i was an apsara in my previous birth but now i'm this crocodile but i want to tell you quickly i was placed here by that being who is pretending to be a holy man call an amy and my job was to eat you, to destroy you, so that you'll never be able to take the jivani for Lakshman to come back to life. And Hanuman hearing this, what will happen? The Apsara, the soul goes to Swarga because the, the crocodile dies at the hand of Hanuman. But Hanuman goes and stands now in front of Kali Nemi, and Kali Nemi is the guru, eh? wearing the mala and guru. And Khan and Amy, what will happen? Khan and Amy says, sit, let me impart, let me give you Vidya. What is Vidya? What is Vidya? Sit, let me give you knowledge. And as Hanuman here is, Hanuman say, no. Vidya comes with Dakshina. Dakshina is what? Some kind of payment. Vidya comes with Dakshina. So before you give me Vidya, let me give you Dakshina. And Hanuman is about to give Guru Dakshina. What kind of Dakshina you think he'll give? Huh? He gives Karl and Amy one Muktar. And Karl and Amy doesn't fall unconscious, you know. Margaya, he dies. But as Karl and Amy dies, something is about to happen. Karl and Amy is about to be rebirthed. Where is he going? What is his name? The Bhagavad Katha tells us.